Right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Outdoor Talk Podcast where I have a toothpick and a backwards hat simply because Elliot told me I wouldn't and that's how this friendship works. But we're back with another podcast today. Elliot neglected to do a podcast. So did Jared. So okay, so the- please go to their social medias and blame them for the two weeks we did not have a podcast because I went out in the country and I said all you need to do is make sure you upload one podcast For the two weeks I'm gone, and it didn't happen. All right, so I texted Jared, and I was like, let's do a podcast. And you know what he told me? He told me no. And then the next following Tuesday... Let's let's screen record the messages. Put them on the screen. No, I'm not doing that. No, that takes too much effort. You're right. That's a lot of editing, bro. (laughs) I, if, we had, if, if we had if we had a thousand viewers per podcast, I would I would go through that editing. Golly. No, I that. texted him and he was like, eh. and then I texted him again the following Tuesday and he didn't even respond to me. <laughs> him who He's busy with law school. Uh, yeah, who Facetimes eight times a week. Actually, I haven't got that many Facetimes from him. I got one today. <laughs> we talked for like five minutes and he's like, I gotta go. I'll call you later. No. Anyway, but, so we're back. We're sorry. Elliot's sorry. I'm not sorry. I was out the country. I I, had no control. I could have carried the weight, but we'd have been sitting here talking about triggers with myself for 15 minutes. I mean, somebody might have liked to watch that. No. But, anyways, this is... Wait, is this the first podcast of the new year? No, one one aired on New Year's. Oh, one aired on New Year's. That's right. But this is like... No. New Year's Eve, because it was a year This is the first podcast of the new year. Wow. Wow. So this one's going to come out... On the 21st, so we're three weeks week behind. <laughs> no, we're technically not. Two, like, because one aired that day. So seven days. Wait. Yeah. I- anyway. Anyway. En- enough about missing. It's not important. It's in the past, but they're coming back. They're here now. But 2020, going to be a big year. Yep. I'm just going to get rich. Not, not, wait, I'm playing with that. That's my bullet. That didn't fire. Hashtag like primer strikes. But not necessarily 2020 is going to be a big year because we don't we don't measure our success in years. Cop a hat if you want one. DM us, we'll get you one. Um, but 2020 should be a good year for us, even though we've got a lot of things planned. We've got a lot of things. We're hitting Chickamauga again for sure. We have we have. A few things officially planned, but we have a lot of things planned in our heads, and we're kind of at the point where we're realizing we're 21 years old and like we might as well do this stuff. So hopefully we get a lot more than like the two things we like officially have planned. But All right, we so should have a lot coming to you this year. Let, let's talk about like our future. Year? Let yeah, let's talk about our goals. So for sure we're both slaying a pea, right? We both put one on the ground. Behind the ear. We're both killing a, a pig. I shot mine in like the stomach last year and we couldn't find it. Anyway, so we're both we're both killing a pig. And talk about that. In South Carolina. Oh well, I meant like when. Oh February. That's coming up soon. Le- a month. Actually a month. Like Actually right a month. month. From right now, a month from now, we will be putting a hurting on the piggies. So real quick for those of you who don't know exactly um, I mean, from context, you can tell we're going hawk hunting, but um, kind of like a family tradition, except to us. No, like, thanks. like the the older men, I guess, kind of like the dads and friends of our dads, like that kind of deal. There's been a group of them go for like six to ten years now. It's been a while they've been doing this, and uh, we went on it last year, so it's kind of like an annual thing. They always go sort of beginning of the year and winter, and we went last year. We loved it. We decided we for sure wanted to go again, especially with them as fun. We kind of want to start our own too at some point. We'll talk about that later in the podcast. But just for context, it's an annual hog hunting trip. There'll be like 8 to 12 of us that go somewhere around there. And we go for what? Is it four days? Yeah, we go. We leave Thursday. Is it Thursday again? Well, yeah. Last year they went down a day early. Some of them did. Yeah, but they didn't hunt. Mm -hmm. So we. the way it goes is... We get a three-day hunting license, and we hunt those three days. So usually, um, usually they Thursday, Friday, yeah. Saturday. Usually they just leave Thursday morning real early. We don't really hunt mornings. 
and we get down there about one or two, mm-hmm. and by then, by the time we unpack, set up the tent, it's time to go kill pigs, head out on four wheelers, and mm-hmm. I mean, Hunter didn't put a hurting on them, but somebody did. And then this year, especially, um, I know I've gotten to like the film a lot more than Elliot's is into the YouTube, but like this year, it will be well documented. I might even sit down like the week before we go, like storyboard like an entire film out so we can make sure we have like, it's going to be a quality production, I can promise you that. And it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of content as well. It's not going to be like a 10 minute vlog, like it will be, especially for us, hot production, it's not going to be a Marvel film, but it will be a hot production video for us. And yeah. we'll have a lot documented and we're just going to have a great time. It's the main goal. Yeah, we'll probably be GoPro'd up the whole time. Um, we probably won't be relying. I mean, I'm just thinking ahead. We probably won't be relying on big cameras. No, like time. like we'll we'll have it with us and try to do it, but like we will be rolling something at all times, and it's hard to keep these big cameras rolling. So like you just mentioned, and, like and, we'll, well it's hard to keep them through. rolling and hunt. Yeah, and I mean we're both. The real reason we're going, we're not going to film. We're, we're going, going to hunt. hunt. Yeah, we're going because we love to hunt. We love to be out there in the outdoors and like friendship with everybody there so the way i see it is likely until we get our first pig Mm -hmm. it'll probably be some pretty serious hunting and we'll try to film and then i guess after the first pig we'll probably be focused on filming yeah for the vast majority of it uh that's just how i I see it going Mm -hmm. so that's february um march coming in spring break possibly I, I don't know what you're going to say. I was going to say Chickamauga, possibly, Man, depending on Jared. Possibly. We we don't know about... We definitely want to go back to Chickamauga, and I, you might not know, but like spring is like the best time to bass. Especially, I don't know when they bed at Chickamauga. So like when fish start like spawning and stuff, like is the best time to fish. Like you can see them in the water. Like you can like... Like it's like an incredible time to fish. Yeah. Which you you might not know, but like it's an incredible time to fish, but it depends on like water temperatures and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like for example, like Minnesota, they're going to be spawning like a month difference from Texas, or maybe even two months. Mm-hmm. So I don't know exactly when they do in Chickamauga, but March would be way better than June. Yeah. For springtime. For heat reasons. But Jared also had some big excuse about. He applied to a bunch of internships, and I wish he was here to like give like his point on this, which he needs to do that. That's like his career, so like I completely understand. But his whole point was he told employers he would be free that week to do interviews. I mean, he will be. So, so it's like we, he, he's we don't not go necessarily down for four days. he doesn't have plans, but he like potentially could have like an interview or something. So it's all up in the air right now. But regardless, I want to do something over spring break. I mean, if. If nothing else, like, if Jared can't, um, I might either try to find something by myself, like, just go somewhere, find somebody and go somewhere, or maybe try to get, like, Elliot, and we'll go, like, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday somewhere, maybe. I, small, I small weekends small are weekend. best for me, because I, it's, it, work, my work's great with handling small weekends, mm-hmm. like, a Thursday, Friday, yeah. um, because I can make it up real easy, but, um, but anything I'm, longer than that's usually right. I'm still in college, so I have the whole week off, so I'll definitely be getting into something, but like I said, if, if, if the Chickamauga doesn't work out, I'll either be going to like find something and go, or I'll convince Elliot we'll find, I, like I I don't know we'll we'll go to Big Bear Lake in California and get a get a rowboat together. I don't I don't know we'll we'll figure out something, but something will be planned for, like March, and spring break ish. Yeah. Also another thing currently, we need to start goose hunting, duck hunting. Mm, that that, they, that should, they should be starting that now, right? They should have been starting that. They usually have already a long started time ago. That. that that should have been done at the beginning. Like I think it because they usually it starts back like around the Christmas time, but everything's so busy because Dad is telling me that he's like, well, we probably won't start hunting until after the New Year, but they haven't went yet, and like like all the older I guess older gentlemen, older guys, like forties, fifties age that uh, especially if we go in the hall come like a lot of them. They're like big into like goose and duck hunting down here in Southwest Virginia, and we've never. Have you ever even been? No. I've never even been. Well, if I do go, I was just thinking about this. I can't. I need a shotgun. I can't take my shotgun. Oh, you can't. Well, you can plug it. I can't take my shotgun. You can plug it. I don't want to plug my shotgun. You know you can like, like measure. Are they it. easy? 
Are they easy to plug and unplug? No, I don't know so, that much about them. So man. what uh, what Mike was telling me, like you can buy a plug and like be official, but Mike was saying, he was telling me that you can go to like Lowe's or Walmart, buy a dowel rod the same t size as like your tube, whatever your yeah. tube, yeah, and you just cut however many inches off to make it regulation, and you just stick it down in your tube, like you unscrew it and just stick it in your tube, mm. and you can't put more than I don't know. Because it's, what he it's was like you can only hold three shotgun shells mm -hmm. of like the longest length, or it, it's it's something like that. And I, I'm not too much. I'd I'd kind of prefer a gunsmith to like, or somebody more official than me just doing research on it. Mm -hmm. You know, just because I don't want really to get in trouble with the law or anything. But I mean, I I just love to go. Like, yeah, I would. I I've I'd, never been and. You and know, when they get geese, like, it looks, like, it seems so much fun. A lot of times, like, I know, for example, Flair, like, Andrew Flair, for you guys that know, like, the Google Squad, most of you watch this probably do. When they hunt, like, duck and geese, like, when they do that, they they're lim they don't have a limit wherever they're at. And they have, like, two, three hundred fly over at once. And they fly over, like, eight times while they're hunting. Like, insane. Mm -hmm. But, like, down here, you might ass. get, you might get two or three flocks in a day if you're having a good day of maybe 12 geese no i think that's just luck because sometimes i'll be at my house you know where it's like the river's just right behind me. yeah it'll be it all the time right but like Flying like over. for the most part when they hunt they don't see it yeah I, I know what you're saying so that's something currently that's you know what i'd have a problem that we need to do if we went duck or goose hunting and i shot a duck i'd probably want to mount it Oh, ducks do look pretty mounted. Cause like I think I think the best things to mount fish, fish, and birds. Mm -hmm. I think birds and fish just look amazing. Yeah. Just out of this world. Only like hard justification. Like I have a problem justifying deer because I don't. I mean, deer mounts look cool, but massive. I don't, they're massive, and they're expensive, and I don't think they look as cool as they cost. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But no matter like, I've I've seen a musky mounted before, and I'm just like, whoa, you know? It's a big fish to mount, though. Yeah, I wish I want, I want Jared to get his back so I can see what it looks like. Yeah, I did too. Jared's getting a replica mount of his almost state record walleye. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, it it was like it used to almost be the state record. Now somebody caught one that's like three pounds bigger. Mm -hmm. But like. It's a massive walleye. Right? I didn't, when did you catch that? A year or two ago. Uh -huh. I don't know. Shout out to Jared for never being on our podcast and living eight hours away. But yeah, that one's a rough one. <laughs> anyway, right. so move up. So February, March, currently January. What's next? April. I don't think anything really going to happen in April. April's like uh, Easter. Yeah. Um, it, it'll start getting warmer in April. Our content will pick up. Yeah. Um, we'll be this, able to go out more. This spring, I'm going to start doing fishing. Um, I've done, made it like a goal of mine to get into it. Like, actually, like, I've always went with Hunter and Jared. Um, I usually do the filming when I go with Hunter and Jared. He usually ends up sitting down asleep. I don't know. No, that's in the boat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to get more into it. I want to learn about it. I want to invest myself in it because I feel like I would really enjoy it if I like got into it mm -hmm. more. And I'm, I'm like, so I don't even have, I don't even own my own rod. So I feel like if I just got like into it and understood, like I used to not be into guns at all. Mm -hmm. Like when I first got into college, I was like, I could hardly tell you the difference between anything. And now I can probably write you an encyclopedia on them. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know everything about them. I mean, I get all kinds of hate on my YouTube about, Yo, you, you don't know anything, <laughs> you youngster. Tiny teen. Tiny teen. The gun <laughs> community is very brutal. They're very true. mean. But that's a goal for, like, my spring that, goal is to really get That'll be fishing. a good time for you to learn, to spring. Because mm -hmm. it's not, like, blasting hot, like... Remember, the, one of the main reasons you had a terrible time at Chickamauga is because you almost died from heat exhaustion. I didn't have a terrible time. I enjoyed it. I know, but like you would have had a lot better time if you didn't feel absolutely like spring. It won't be as hot, and then hopefully, what we need to do is we need to get you down to like Gatewood when they're bedding mm. or spawning. 
You can catch fish in Gatewood? Yeah. I thought everybody had awful look at Gatewood. No, Gatewood is like, it's like one of the best bass fishers around, but you have to know what you're doing. Like, Gatewood has like the best bass like around here. Really? But, but they're just hard to catch. But like, if you know Gatewood, like some people can go in there and catch like three five pounders and an eight pounder in the same day. An eight pounder. But, but they know what they're doing. Yeah. They know the lake, they know how to catch them. That is very hard bass to catch. But, yeah, we'll, we'll do that a lot in the spring. And then, what's May? You know what I'd like to do that's not as popular? Cause, um, carp was, fishing. No. We get carp fish a lot around here. All, was, all these ponds? I was going to say early, or er, uh, predator hunt, spring. Day predator hunt. Um, Day. Yeah, so... Recently, as in the last month or so, I've started to try to think about getting more serious into predator hunting. I like it a lot. Um, I've I've went once with somebody that actually knows what they are doing, and I had an act like a complete blast. Um, I got a fox and a coyote, and I'm having them tanned, and hopefully, it will be sitting on top of this table eventually as part of a mount or something like to include on the back wall and um, I really enjoyed it and then I went again the week Hunter was in the uh, Dominican Republic and I missed a fox and had a fox run up on top of me uh, so I saw two foxes and that was just me and a buddy of mine from work that went hunting and I didn't vlog or film either of them because I was with people I didn't know, and I didn't really know how to predator hunt at that time. I still don't really know a lot about it. I just kind of wing it. But um, I want to start getting more into it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you'll get more into it if we get something. Because yeah. it is insane when a coyote comes out of nowhere. And no, I, mean, I agree. I just know the way we always do it is never going to get no, us a coyote. No, the way... And, like, you realize that now. No, the way we do it will never get us a coyote. Exactly. That's why I don't like going. <laughs> well, yeah, but... It's pointless. I didn't realize how wrong we were doing it. I did. Not because I knew what was right. Just, I had an intuition that yeah. I mean, we were just idiots. Yeah, We were. We were. Um, and in terms of predator, like, we were, like, swinging around guns, idiots. We like, were just... We, we just didn't know how to predator hunt. To, the key to predator hunting is spots. Mm -hmm. and I'd say that is probably... You can do a lot of dumb stuff in predator hunting. You can have bad gear. You can be a bad shot. But you need spots to go to. Um, and I feel like we really lack that. Just because we lack connections with people. We don't, we don't have enough, I guess, pull in our community. We don't know enough people. We're young still. And that's no excuse because there's people as young as us doing all kinds of stuff, but we don't have a big connection to the agriculture community where we're at. And a lot of people, Chris was telling me that he has permission to hunt on half of Wood County, but he can't normal hunt on any of that land, mm -hmm. you know? Because people want the predators gone. But people love it when you come kill predators for them. Mm -hmm. So I want to get really more into predator hunting. And towards, towards spring, you can only coyote hunt. You can't fox, bobcat stuff. You can't really? do that stuff. No. That's a like a specific season. Hmm. So uh, coon, bobcat, um, fox. There's another one. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's rare around here. It's um, oh, it's a weird name. I I, I digress. Um, you can't kill those after February, hmm. but you can kill coyotes. Coyotes whenever you want. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd like to get more into that. Come early summer. And summers. Summer's all up in the air, honestly. Yeah, we don't really know what's going on. We would like, we'd Jared's like to take some trips. Applying, Jared's applying for internships. So, like, Jared could... Jared could honestly, like... The way everything's... Jared could end up on our couch. Jared could end up in my bed. I could end up in Montana. Jared could end up in D.C. Like, like the know. only thing we know is Elliot will be here. It's the only thing we know for sure. Like, there's a chance that I could be, like... Because I'm applying to internships, Jared just applied to a bunch, and we applied, like, basically all over. So... I don't so, see Jared going to D.C. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think he, he will either. It. I mean, he might go, but I don't think he wants it. I don't either. So, like, uh, summer's very up in the air, 
But we do know, I mean, I guess this is technically, I consider this outdoors just like going out, being out with friends. Like somebody asked me the other day something about my travel videos and like not being so niche. But like I'm not like a hunting specific channel. I'm not a fishing, like I'm an outdoor channel. Like the brand that I represent is take someone outdoors. And to me, like exploring a new place is outdoors. Mm -hmm. Like, Like I'm getting ready to go to New York City and I don't plan on spending the whole time I'm there inside doing so. Like, I plan on exploring the city, mm -hmm. which it isn't as much outside as like something else might be. But like, I know it's we want to go. We want to go to the beach. Um, that's something we're trying to plan uh, at some point over the time. summer. Yeah, over the summer. And I would definitely consider as a group of that, friends. As a group of friends, that outdoor. Like, if we go, it'll be documented. It might. We might not make. It might be a fun it. vlog. It, it might, yeah, like just a little. It'd fun be a pre okay. What vlog. it would be is I can tell you right now what it'd be. It'd be Hunter's video, and it would be beautiful. It'd be a pretty picture. Mm -hmm. It would not be like an entertaining vlog. You might get some of that, but I feel like it'd be like a nice video. Yeah, just and and that's like once again, I personally I consider that outdoors. Like if you don't, I, like I understand where you're coming from, but I definitely think like the beach, like that aspect is. Now, like, going to a city and exploring it, I might see how somebody's indifferent. But to me, it's like traveling, it's seeing new places. It's like constantly being active and taking in, taking a breath away from everything you're used to. And to me, that's what the outdoors is. It's taking that breath away from, like, your everyday, like, crazy life. Yeah, sure. So, summers. Also, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know about Hunter. Hunter might not be here if he's somewhere slaying it i hope he is um but what my plans for summer is i want to put i want to do some work at the farm like some actual work mm -hmm. like we never hunt miller's creek all right um like i hate to say it miller's creek scrumptious sometimes but it's a pain to get to it's not really appetizing i want to do like i think it is yeah, I, I would. If we if we went up there every week over the summer, I promise you, your mindset on it would be different. True, because it's not really different to get to than the farm. No, I mean, on it, like if you think about it, from our house, it's the same distance, just mm. about maybe five minutes longer. All right, well, let me change it then. If we're going to do Miller's Creek, I would like to be more involved in Miller's Creek and get a, get it four wheeler accessible. Because mm -hmm. right now we have fifty acres. And you can get to like one mm -hmm. easily. The rest of it is pretty pain in yeah, the butt. Definitely that's if if I'm not anywhere, one of the biggest things I want to do this summer is work on a hunting land. Because we we tried to do it somewhat this past year and it was like incredibly fun and I learned so much and it was cool to see the little result. Like we put up trail cameras early and that's about the best we did. We didn't even but do it. It was cool to see it was cool to see those results. So, like, imagine if we went in the beginning of summer and almost once, like, almost every weekend, like, even if it was every other weekend, we went and we put in work, like, clearing paths, putting up cameras, like, we knew where they did, like, move stands around, we had specific spot, like, yeah. like, that would be so much fun, and then it would make our hunting season that much better. Yeah, I think if we can just get four-wheeler accessible, if we can get four-wheeler accessible to, like, halfway up the mountain, Mm-hmm. I feel like it would make our lives so much easier. I mean, we're being lazy here, but I mean, it is a hike, you yeah. know, to get even Especially to do work. Like, if you're going hunting, the hike's not that big of a deal because you're just walking up there and sitting down. But, like, when we're going with, like, chainsaws or cameras and intentions of being there for four hours to walk around and do stuff, it's not fun. No. I mean, it's fun for a little bit, but you get tired. Even if you want to work on it for hunting, it's still... Mm -hmm still rough that's because i mean to go in there during hunting season and walk it once in the morning and then once to come back out isn't like the biggest deal i mean obviously it'd be better if you could full wheeler but but it's like really like anytime you need to go there you're just like Ugh. and anytime you need to like we had one trail camera on top of the mountain and we did not ever want to go up there and get it nope so that's that we need to reprioritize hunting Mm -hmm. um, Agreed. Evaluate it. Um, and I need to start, I hate to say this, but I need to like take more time off. 
during like just work longer weeks or something. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't, I don't have enough time in my day to do everything I want to get done. Right. In terms of over the summer when it's nice out, you know. Yeah. Um, might be different if I start fishing because I can fish in the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, cause the thing is, like we can fish around here. But where we hunt is roughly an hour from where we're like sitting right now where we live mm -hmm. and work. So for us to get off work at 5 o'clock to drive an hour to where we hunt, and that's per se, you have everything already like in the truck. Like if you need a chainsaw, you have change of clothes, your boots, full oiler. If you like, if you had all that ready and went straight from work, you would have a few hours of daylight. But by then you're so tired, you have yet to eat supper. Like it's... It's not really feasible. I mean, it's definitely feasible, but it's not something you, you want to do. do. No. So no. that's the problem with, like, during the week. Then that gives you, like, one day, maybe Sunday. But, I mean, we usually, like, take Sundays easy and, like, edit or something. So uh, You want to know what else I want to do this summer? And we, we talked about doing it last summer. I want to spend more time with Lake. Oh, yeah. With Landon or, or Stephanie. Yeah, last year, it was my first time actually being at, like, I mean, I've been to, like, a lake house before, so, but, like, it was my first time spending a full day, like, on the lake with, like, my friends, basically. Yeah, we spent one day with Landon. And then we spent another day with Stephanie. On, like, like the boat and everything. We went out a lot that day on, like, the boat. Did you do the, um, did you do the board thing? Yeah, I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. None of us could. Shout but, out to Carl. But, yes, what? definitely. <laughs> Definitely, like that's. It was a blast. I love doing that. Mm -hmm. That's what. I see. I want a house on the lake, but I know if I get a house on the lake, I'll sacrifice land. Mm -hmm. Another thing I'd really like to do is I want to go skiing. So like, I love to ski. Like skiing is probably one of my favorite hobbies, but I hadn't done it in so long. I've never been. And he's never been. His fiance Stephanie, she's been once. I don't think Jared's ever been. But, like, I want to do that so bad, and, like, we're getting out of season to ski, basically. Um, so then, like, it was a lot next chance is, like, November, December mm -hmm. in certain places. But I would really love to do that. Even, I mean, there's places we can drive to and just pay, like, the lift ticket and rental fee versus having to, like, go somewhere and stay a night, which would be a lot more fun, I think, if we, like, went as a group and stayed one night somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, we got there, we skied the afternoon, stayed the night in a cabin, skied the next day and left. Like, I think that'd be a lot more fun, but like, reasonably, you're looking at, like $100 is the cheapest you're gonna get for a day. Yeah. Which is pretty expensive for a one day activity. <laughs> All right, where did we leave off? I don't even we remember. We got on a whole philosophical conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apologies, guys. Like, the camera died. Then we switched batteries and got coffee. And then we went into like a whole philosophical conversation. About books we're reading. And now I can't remember where we left off. I know we were at summer. But I don't know what we were. We were basically finished, but... Alright, let's cut it. You were talking about skiing, I think. But oh, we, we, yeah, yeah. We, we had, had think, finished I, summer. I, I we had finished we were, summer. I thought we were ending skiing, though. We yeah, we, no, that's what it was. We, I, we were ending skiing because we finished summer. And then, I, like, just random tangent in my head said, Ancient skiing, Hunter. So I did. And that's, you're right, that's what we left off on. So, final note, skiing, would really like to. Kind of getting out of season. Don't know if it'll happen. Probably won't happen this. Maybe not this, like, this this part of winter. But next winter, so like December maybe. Like, end of the year. Um, hopefully. Depending on how I'm doing on vacation time. Hopefully. I'd really like to do that. But um, kind of expensive. So, so now we're, we're past summer. Fall of the year. We're getting into fall now. Um, hopefully put a hurt so on what, what are we deer. talking, August? Is it August fall? No, I was thinking August is summer. It's still hot. It's okay. still ungodly hot. Um, September, September. Labor Day. Um, what comes in around then? We're starting to get into hunting season. That well, no, it's kind of that limbo time because you got to pull everything. You got to pull all your uh, corn and stuff at the beginning of September. Mm -hmm. So you kind of had a limbo time there. I guess we'll just keep working. Yeah, we'll do on wherever on whatever videos. we're. No, I meant like. Uh, hunting land, yeah. Or whatever we're working on, just keep. We'll probably put up and stuff like that. We'll probably do the. We'll probably do maintenance because it'll be a lot easier to do maintenance in September than it would be July. 
Well, I don't know. Remember uh, that it's one it's day? It's all dependent. Seven? We don't know in Virginia. Well, the other crazy. day we had a 70 degrees. So, um, and the day before there was two inches of snow. You never know. This did. morning it was nine degrees of wind chill. It's rough. I think this weekend it's supposed to get hot again. Like 50, nice. 60. But it's supposed to be rainy all weekend. Ugh. And you'll be in New York. Rain's bad for videos, guys. Yeah. Wow. But I guess it's pretty much, I mean, fall, not much in fall, we can, I mean, we can fish more. Yeah, I'll be, no, we'll be in the fishing. Um, Spring to fall, fish, because in winter you can fish, but it's not as fun because it's cold. <laughs> yeah, being in the water. I'd like to improve my gear selection over this next year. What do you mean? Like, like everything? I like just everything in general. I'd like to have a nice pair of binoculars. I'd like to be working on my, I'd like to. My goal, I've switched goals kind of in the whole gun thing. I've I've always thought about like getting as many, like I want an AR-10, I want a bunch of this, a bunch of that, I want this, I want a precision rifle, I want all kinds of different stuff. I mean, everybody wants all kinds of different stuff. But I thought, you know, while I'm in the financial situation I am in right now, I'm saving for a house, um, a wedding, uh, all all the, all the starter stuff in life. Um, I kind of want. I can't just go spend a thousand dollars on a gun and also save a thousand dollars for a house. You know. Good save because you could, but you can't. The yeah. Way you're saving like mentally, it's yeah. it's the driver pulling the elephant. Um. So I want to spend small amounts of money making my stuff as good as it can get. With what I have, you know. Mm -hmm. So like the other day, I just put a new stock and trigger into my Grendel to help it out. Um, instead of spending like I'd planned on buying a lower for an AR-10 and starting an AR-10 build, which would cost who knows how much money. Probably around a thousand once you put everything out into it, scope, all that stuff. Um, and I just. Did something I really wanted to for my Grendel, and my Grendel can do everything an AR-10 would do. So why not make my Grendel the best gun I can make it, True. and just hold on the 10. Mm -hmm. um, and like a bolt action, I want a precision rifle, but if I can make my Ruger so much better, adding a break, upgrading the scope because I have a Walmart scope on it right now, mm -hmm. you know, making my Ruger better. So that's something I want to do throughout the year, and I just want to like acquire. Pieces of gear that I don't have. So you know how like binoculars. I, binoculars. You know how I have like just a bunch of scrappy hunting gear. Mm -hmm. Like my hunting gear is not. I don't, I don't want to say it's not complete because I have about everything I need. Yeah. But like. You just we, want more specific stuff. Yeah. Like you you have some old military jeans and then some old blue jeans you can layer up, but you would rather have a nice pair of. Like compression thermals that's meant for hunting, and then a nice pair of hunting pants that you can wear that's lightweight that does the same thing but's way more comfortable, breathable, and you don't sweat as much yeah. as the three pairs of jeans you have that are from the 1942. Exactly, war. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, not spend a ton of money on it, but just like over the course Correct. of the next year, just build my portfolio to make our hunting life easier. Same, but and a thermal sale. Not, not with hunting stuff. I want to do that with like camera stuff. Oh, it's okay. so, like over over the next like year, I'd like to see uh, the only thing like definitely like a drone and a gimbal. I was about to say like a drone and a gimbal. Or no, I need a mic. Like like that type of thing. But by the way, I watched that footage. Your mic's good. Is it? Yeah. I don't okay. know. I don't know what was wrong with it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, but, um, the only thing I'm indifferent about. Is I really want a lens, right? Mm -hmm. But lenses are incredibly expensive. And when I say that, I'm talking about the lenses I want are like $1,500 to like $3,000 for a lens. More than your camera. Right. But the thing is, if I buy that lens, lenses mean more than the camera, more or less. But if I buy that lens, what are the chances that like, I'm going to use it for a while? Like, for example... If it's that one lens you want. I mean, you use the 50 a lot. Right. But what I'm saying is... What if I get that lens, then next year, like, so, like everything just happens right, and I want a Sony. Mm. That the, only, the only thing about the lens is, well, if okay. I go, like, or this should I just the, save up and buy the Sony? 
This is all I have to say What's about that. If you have the means to just go out and buy another camera, you're probably gonna be fine on the lens. What do you mean? Like if you're dropping, if you're gonna buy twelve thousand or twelve hundred dollar lens, mm -hmm. and next year you're like, I'm getting this camera. True. I mean, what's the chances that that camera is not gonna be good in a year, and that you're going to want a new Sony camera? I want one now, but it's like, illogical for me to spend the money. Yeah, exactly. Like, but but then then comes the question: Do I buy a fifteen hundred dollar lens, or do I just save two to twenty five and buy a better camera? I mean, do you want to switch over cameras? That I mean, you have. I mean, the Canon M fifty is like a really good camera. It is like a really good camera, for especially for what we do. Mm-hmm. I mean, and do you really want to make the switch from Canon? Like, I don't know. I'd have to use a Sony. Like, what's your just... I mean, the justification is, I don't know the difference that much. I just know, like, the Sonys are really nice for, for filming purposes. But after that, I don't know. I mean, but then again, I mean, there's, there's a Canon that matches the Sony. Yeah, I was about there's to say. There's a $5,000 Canon, like, $5,000 Sony. It's the difference between Ford and Chevy. It's personal preference. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I've never okay. used the Sony, For so example, I don't know. I asked Brian, like, he only uses Canon. And I was like, why are you so dedicated? Like, he has $3,000, over $1,000 cameras from Canon. And mm -hmm. I'm like, why not Nikon? Why not? Mm -hmm. And he was like, because my first Canon, or my camera was a Canon. Mm -hmm. And he's like, that's the only reason. Yeah. So. It's, all, it's all personal preference. I mean, all of them have their different stats, but it's basically, per like, especially when you start talking about, like, $5,000 cameras, they're they're basically going to do the same thing. One, like, the Canon might have a little better color in it than the $5,000 Sony, but at the same time, the Sony is going to have a little better autofocus, maybe. Mm -hmm. So then it comes down to personal preference. You like the Canon because you take... Like, you're more worried about your color. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't know that, that's probably why you like the Canon. Yeah. So, it's personal. But, definitely a drone and a gimbal. I really want a new lens, but that's just, that's a lot of money right now. I want to develop, take someone outdoors into an LLC. Same. That's, that should be the goal of, the one goal of 2020. By Christmas, I want, I want to make, take someone outdoors a business, and I want it to be... Making an impact in some way. That's whoa! That just give me chill. I like that. That's that's that's, that's kind of a good right note. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's kind of a good note to end the podcast on. I I mean, we didn't really talk about like winter plans, but we don't really have any like late fall plans. Fall, if we're going deer hunt, I'm gonna get married. That's what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, like fall is just hunting season. Like I don't need to say anything else. Deer hunt every weekend. Work during the week. Like not much else to say. But I think that that's a good note to leave it on. That's a good note to make. And that's something we will make happen by December 25th, 2020. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it, but it will. will. It definitely uh, will. I don't know if, like, I don't know if we all quit using our YouTubes and just shove it on this one, or if... Or even if, like, we just promote, like, like going off, not, to, uh, sorry to interrupt, but, like, just... Like, it doesn't have to be that specific YouTube channel. Like, even if it's an LLC and it's, like, what we run our merch through or something. Like, it could literally be anything. Mm -hmm. But I think where you were going, correct me if I'm wrong, is it's more about, like, making it into our own thing officially and also having to make a difference. Yeah. So, like, like, I think one of the coolest things, imagine if we had an LLC called Take Someone Outdoors and we hosted a trout day or a youth hunters like shooting day and we taught kids how to shoot like we took we took a bunch of 22s out in 410s like that'd be awesome getting other like little kids in the outdoors or something mm -hmm. or like we took people from Virginia Tech people our age that just don't shoot took them to the range and black you think Virginia you think Virginia Tech would let us put a sign up shoot on campus yeah really They're, they like in February I need to make sure everyone this is because I'm supposed to go to this they do a squirrel hunt with people from the college that have never hunted before. Really? They take them out one weekend. Who does? They do. 
I think it's the VDGIF, honestly. Is there any way I can get in on that? I might probably. be able to pull some strings. Like, if you want to come with me, you probably could. But, like, basically what they do is they come out the first weekend, they give them some hunting safety instructions, go over, like, teach them hunter's advocate, how to score. Like, they mm -hmm. teach them everything. And the next weekend, they take them out and squirrel hunt. Oh, see, I guess Jared can't come. Then. But that that's soon. That's, like, in February. I need to make sure when that is. I'm going to do it in the middle of winter? I don't, I don't know. I got I got double, but, like... But anyways, back to like the point, like to have a brand that we can push because one of the biggest things we've talked about is like we wish we had something to push, whether it was a, a product, a sponsor, like something we could sell, like whatever it is, like we've all said before, we wish we had something we could push, like and push not, to say, not to say jam down your throats, but basically something that we like 100% believe in that we could, in theory, jam down your throats. And... Like, that would be, like, the best thing something that, that will so, happen so, in 2020. Something that we believe in and that equally believes in us. Right. Um, what that might be, I don't know. Right now, we're just pushing ourselves, mm -hmm. and that's fine. We can push ourselves until the end, and we're pushing to take someone outdoors. I mean, end of every single video, we say something about it, you know? So. All right. We're but, getting there. Yep. It's going to happen. Well, that's enough on our outro. It's been a long one. Um, yes. So it's been a good podcast. I it think. has been a good podcast. It'll be a quick edit. <laughs> I know. No, Jared, quick edit. <laughs> no, Jared, quick edit. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. We appreciate it. Um, that basically includes us all. The whole thing. We'll see y'all next Tuesday. Um, Check back in. We'll be here all year, every week. We might miss one here or there, but every week we will be here. And as always, guys, remember, take someone outdoors, and we'll see y'all next time.